We're thinking that canola would be uh, a, a better crop for a lot of our producers this year because there's the upside potential. They can go into a lot of these fields and clean up um, some, some grass problems that they've been dealing with for years. Um, if they do that, they want to be aware that the application for crop insurance is due this month, August 31. We think that there's more upside potential on that canola price than there is in wheat price, and that's purely based on the historical difference between wheat price and canola price, which is you know, generally over $3. Now, we've seen the cash price this year be as narrow as $2, um, but so we suspect that if we return to that level, we're, we, we can get 675 um, or, or maybe even seven. Seven is looking like a, a, a solid break even number for a lot of our producers. And so when they're, when they're going into the elevator, or calling the elevator, looking at those contact prices, when they have an opportunity to market to forward price canola over seven dollars, they, they need to be doing that. In, and it may even be at 650 or 675. Everybody needs to look at their own break evens and decide where can I, where can I cover those costs. Um, because as we said, wheat's going to be really, really challenged to reach break-evens this year. We have the, um, the uh, Oklahoma Wheat Canola Budget Generator, which will allow them, to, uh, producers, to put in their budgets side-by-side -side for a continuous wheat uh, rotation versus a wheat canola rotation. And they can play around with that, put their own costs, their own yields, um, their own prices, and play a bunch of what-if games with those those prices and yields and see all right what do I need to cover my my cost of production. We also have a, a wheat stalker graze out tool that producers can look at that will help them decide is this the year to um, try to get a second crop of of stalkers out there and um, graze out wheat. Their local cooperative extension educators can help them find these tools can help them run those tools and before you're making any big changes that's probably a good idea to go in and talk to your your county educator.